Hey there! <laughs> Today is Halloween when you're seeing this, so happy Halloween! Um, for this year, my first Halloween on YouTube, I wanted my Halloween video to be not my eyebrow falling off. I wanted my Halloween video to be spectacular, I wanted it to be really good and I knew what I wanted to do. It's something I wanted to play with for a little while and that was do a makeup tutorial cosplay of a night elf which is a character from World of Warcraft. A race from World of Warcraft even. I've mentioned that I play World of, World of Warcraft before and yeah I play World of, War World of Warcraft. Um, and my main character is a night elf. She is a night elf druid. So this is loosely based upon my own character, not exactly, because she doesn't have markings, etc. But she does have purple hair, she does have purple skin. So, well, the very of you, you're probably thinking purple skin. It is purple skin. I've painted the ears as well. They're all, it's purple, but they're not massively purple, so. If you're wondering about the uh, uh, eyebrows, really? Why did they have to do such a complicated eyebrows? You will see at one point I have gigantic, ridiculous eyebrows. But I got there in the end. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I really am. And I hope you enjoy it too. Uh, I everything, All descriptions, of course, will be in the description. All product details, of course, I'm really rambly, uh, will be in the description bar description box my word of course however uh, basically all props so ears wig were all from uh, eBay slash on Amazon anyway without further ado do you want to see how you, how you do this don't know why you'd want to <laughs> you're not going to Tesco's like this but even even I draw the limit of that even I do you know I'm so pleased with how this turned out though I can't get over how well this came out. It definitely makes me curious to try cosplay one day, for sure. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Let's get started. Before you ask, yes, I have a wig cap on, which is why I look weird. Um, I thought I'd better have to put it on now, because I don't much have my hair out of the way anyway. Anyway. I have primed my eyelids and then all over my face, my chest, my arms, I've used Nivea Post Shave Balm to give a better base. I have already mixed up the colour we're using and it's in harm. I love this. Ooh. Anyway, this is a, I feel like a pale lilac colour and I used lots of stuff. I, it's a real, real concoction. Freedom Ghost Whitener. I use the Freedom Matte Foundation. There is Elf Eyeshadow in. No idea, but it's purple basically, so. Hold on. There's not much left of it. That one. A little bit of Makeup Revolutions Velvet Lip Lacquer in Depravity. Uh, quite a generous amount of Sweet Pea and Faye's lip paint in. It's not Penelope. It's another one. You, you know the one. Uh, yeah, lots of sort of various stuff has gone in here. And I've also put in a bit of Essie Lord of Double Wear to hopefully help it set. I don't know how well that's going to go. Anyway, I'm just going to put that on with a brush. And yeah. Obviously, don't wear something you're going to worry about getting stuff on. Before I do my arms, I'm going to set what is on my face at the minute. So, um, probably your best thing to use is actually be talcum powder. But as I don't have any, like a uh, baby powder, 
I'm going to use um oh first off need to get this right under the eye as close as I can Anyway, what I'm using is crushed up pressed powder because I ran out of loose powder as well. I'm using, uh, this is the Essence All About Matte powder. Anyway, what I want is... I'm going to press this all in everywhere. Obviously, you want it to be translucent. Why am I struggling with that name? With that word. Anyway, you want it to be translucent so you don't adjust the colour at all. You could use an eyeshadow to set if you had one the right shade. I've set all of that with a setting spray and now I'm just going to do my shoulders. If you're going out I'd do the rest of your arm as well but it's going to be hard enough to get off as it is. <laughs> I'm covered but I'm happy. This looks cool. Okay. I'm now going to contour. I'm going to use uh, Real Techniques Contour Brush and NYX Hot Shots uh, Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Ultraviolet. And be really liberal with this. And then for our highlight, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolutions Vivid Bait Highlighter in Pink Light. And you can go for it. Next, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Endless Purple all over the lid. We're going on to eyes, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. I'm going to set that with a matte cream eyeshadow, but I'm obviously going to really... Matte cream colour that I show you in. Give that a thorough blend. Because obviously that's not currently my skin tone. <laughs> Taking the NYX Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Ultraviolet again. This is going to be our crease colour. Now I'm going to use. Matte black from the Makeup Revolution gives them darkness palette. The matte black in there. Now I'm going to take a smaller Happy brush and the NYX Hot Shots eyeshadow in Ultraviolet again. 
we're taking it down then I'm going to take the matte black again and just follow it around next I'm going to use this makeup revolution eyeshadow in purple heaven and I am pop this on as a lid color Next up, I'm going to use the same colour, just use on the lid, just under here, where we did, didn't put anything. Liner time, I'm going to use Bourjois Liner Pencil. Oh. Once I put this on, I use the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow uh, highlighter, vivid baked highlighter. Got it in the end. Pink lights again. Went over the lid and in the inner corners as well. I forgot to say anything. I wasn't originally going to do markings, but I think markings really sell that it's a night elf. So I'm going to start off by marking them out. Just using the ultraviolet eyeshadow. Now that it's roughly marked out, I'm going to use the same eyeshadow, a little bit of a bigger brush, and just fill that in. Outlining it with a fail, I think it looks better without it. <laughs> so I did it and it looked horrible. Anyway, now what I'm going to do, put mascara. I'm going to go and put mascara and lashes and wig and ears and eyebrows on and I'm back to do the lips. See you in a minute. So I have my wig on, my ears and my eyebrows. If Do you think you know what the fuck is going on with my eyebrows? Uh, basically in the game this is what they like, they go out. I know it looks a bit weird on my first go at them but I'm pretty happy with them. Anyway, final things, lips, I'm going to use NYX. Liquid suede in Amethyst. So I changed my eyebrows as you can see. Um, I wasn't happy with how they were looking, I'm much happier now. And that's it, that's my Night Elf makeup tutorial for Halloween. I'm so pleased with how this came out. Oh, it works. Once it's all come together, it looks amazing and I'm really proud of it. I really, really am. So I hope you enjoyed this and happy Halloween. And until next time, just believe. Bye.